Today I'm going to be doing the updated Josh Richards haircut and so I'm not actually going to be cutting the hair because I found a mannequin that, I mean if you look at this, this is basically Josh Richards hair. Uh, it just so happened that it was cut on a previous video I did. So I said let me just break down a few things to help you guys understand how to achieve this type of look. So as you all know, this is the TikToker look, right? Everybody wants his haircut whether it's this version, a more longer, grown out, messier type, or the shorter version, which I've done tutorials on, I actually have a TikTok playlist. So if you are interested in watching all those videos, just go onto my channel here and go to my playlist and you'll see TikToker playlist. You can actually learn a lot about these types of looks from watching those videos. But this particular haircut, and if you've seen the progress, I actually, I think I did two Josh Richards haircuts previously in the past. And, uh, as you can see the progress, it's basically him growing out his hair, doing absolutely nothing to it. The one thing he did do is some you know, blonde highlights. So that is something that was a bit different and that's why if you see his hair now, it's just like this mixed in with some blonde. So let's talk about the color first because I'm sure a number of you are gonna be wondering, how do I get that color? What do I do? So when you have darker hair, for example, like this, like a dark brown, Anything that's say below like a light brown and darker or light brown and below, that usually is a bit more difficult to pre-lighten or to, to highlight or get that nice blonde color that you see a lot of guys having, like a rich platinum blonde. The reason it's so difficult is because everybody has naturally warm pigment in their hair color. And the darker your hair color, the warmer it is. So if you have a natural hair color of like black or a brownish black, the underlying pigment or underlying tone is a red color, right? So you're gonna pull a lot of warmth. If you were to try to lighten your hair from black to darkest brown, you're gonna see a good amount of warmth coming through. Or if you try to go from this to like a blonde, it's just gonna be very, very warm, almost like pumpkin people have referred to, or very brassy. The way you fight that is by using something with an ash color. So it's almost like the color wheel. So, you know, purple neutralizes yellow, yellow, purple, blue and orange, uh, green and red. So you need something that's got a bit more of like a greenish base to it. And that's gonna help kind of counteract. Now, if you're using just straight lightener or straight hair bleach, then it's a lot easier to control. However, you have to let the color sit or the lightener sit on your hair for a much longer period of time then you may have to tone it. If you look at his hair, the blonde, it's not a super crazy platinum blonde, it's more of like a natural warm blonde, which you can get very easily by just letting the lightener sit on the hair. Now, of course, it all comes down to application and technique. I don't know who did it, maybe he did it at the house or the, his friends, somebody did it, I have no idea. But, you know, it's one of those things where it can be done yourself, so he's got the lighter, blondish type color, okay? Which is totally cool. It helps break up the haircut a little bit. Now, as far as the haircut itself, again, I've mentioned this is something that's been growing out probably for the last like month and a half to two months from where it started on the shorter type original TikToker type haircut. So if you are looking to get this look, grow your hair until it looks like this. So the sides here, all right, none of it's an undercut, but the sides here, right, or cut probably to the top of the ear. And then everything is brought down to that one point. So the length through here goes down to about right here, okay? So you can see, it still looks pretty clean. And back here, I had previously done a kind of a lighter taper. That's why it's so short back here. So even if this was growing out a little bit, it'd still be fine. So this is all worked up into where this is probably about, you know, an inch, inch and a half, and then we're getting up to now about three and a half to four inches into here. This area blends in with all of this. It's gotta be balanced. If it's not balanced, it's gonna look a little off. Again, if you are growing your hair out many times, it just looks like a grown up mess and then you just style it however you want and it looks good. I mean, these guys are just doing whatever they want with their hair and somehow um, it's looking okay and people are loving it. But what you want to do is make sure you've got the length in through here and the balance right. So then as we work into the top, this is probably a good, probably five and a half to six inches long. 
And this goes the same thing all the way throughout the very, very front, right? This goes all the way down probably to the lip. And that could be like seven or eight inches long at least. The key thing that you need to understand about this particular haircut is making sure that you have some layers in it. That's the only way you're gonna get this type of look into here and these flips is if you have layers, right? If you don't have layers, then unfortunately the hair is just gonna flop down. Also, it's how you style it. So let's talk about the styling process. When the hair is wet, you wanna just lightly towel blot it. Don't ever take the towel and just rough dry it. It's gonna become kind of frizzy. Tidal Wave, once again, the number one product that I suggest for getting that light texture, that light grit, and that volume that you need. Next is the two inch thermal ceramic round brush, which I do sell on my website. Now, right, you have to take the brush, and I have a video on this too, how to use this, is you wanna take the brush like this coming forward and you wanna roll it back down and then roll it back this way. So when you take the brush out, the hair is down and then comes back up. Then you can finish it with my locked hairspray. And this is a very matte, pliable hairspray, a medium hold. Again, it's a matte finish, no shine, which makes it very, very unique. Then you can kind of just piece it a little bit, just holds the hair just in place. All of these products right here, this is called the TikToker Hair Kit. This is available on my website. This is only shipping in the United States. It's free shipping in the United States. And the reason I can't ship this overseas is because of the FAA and the regulations. This is a hairspray and it can't go on a plane, at least right now. Um, so unfortunately, I'm only able to sell this in the United States. So these are available and at a discounted price if you purchase the kit compared to all three uh, items individually. They're selling like crazy. This is what I use, so I wouldn't push anything or promote anything that I'm not using myself or have tested as a professional hairstylist. And then this is how you get the look. So again, it's really important, you know, what do you say to your barber? Or what do you say to your stylist? Well, I would find pictures, right? Because it's a very unique type of haircut. And if you want this type of look, do you go to a barber? Eh, I would probably say I try a hairstylist first just because we are used to working on longer hair types and we understand layering and shapes a bit more. Doesn't mean every hairstylist is perfect, trust me. Just like barbers and hairstylists, there's talent and not talent wherever you go. So there's, there's some hack jobs going on done by hairstylists out there just as well. So you just gotta make sure that you're finding someone who really understands shape and understands texture and layering and things like that. Because in order to get these types of looks, yeah, it's messy but it also still has a nice shape to it. You can't get that by somebody or from somebody who doesn't really understand hair cutting. So that's my suggestion. Please do a TikTok duet or something to get this out so Josh can see it. It would be awesome. I've done so many of these TikTokers and stuff. And um, so I guess this trend is not going anywhere, but this is the updated Josh Richards haircut. So thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time for more videos with a salon guy.